it's been awesome. We're so thankful to have her. Caitlin Soroka is just like everyone else wearing a Brookwood uniform. They really don't factor in that I'm a girl. They just treat me like one of their teammates as they would anyone else. Except she's the only girl out there. I know a lot of coaches on other teams will be like, oh, that's a female. The guys love her. You know, there's been a few instances where there's been some teams try to take cheap shots on her and stuff like that, and the, the boys don't have any of that. Raised a soccer player, she already had a passion for sports, but during her eighth grade year, she was inspired to start trying football as well. When Sarah Fuller had started kicking, and I just thought that was super cool, and a lot of people told me I should try that because I'd been playing soccer. We had a day at the high school where we could go in and meet all the sports team coaches, and I went to the football coach and asked him if I could play. I could just tell that she was serious. We're gonna have a scout team kickoff anymore. <laughs> Caitlin kicks extra points and sometimes field goals for the Broncos in just her second year as a sophomore. My longest field goal so far has been in a practice and was 45 yards and I'm hoping to add on by the summer hopefully another five yards to that. That first time she ever kicked in a game? She remembers it perfectly. I was a little nervous, but I knew just to fall back on my mechanics. And after that was honestly when I was more jittery than before because I realized that was my very first point. As the Broncos get ready for their first playoff game on Saturday and she continues sharpening her craft, she wants all the younger aspiring female football players to know one thing. Honestly, just don't let anything stop you. Don't let people bring you down and just do what you know how to do. And that's going to help you get further than anything else in life.